Hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to another, yes, another episode of Prime News. That seems to be something I've been saying a lot lately, because SES is giving me my money's worth, I can tell you that. Um, so, you've seen the title, AT or SES Software has just released on their forum page, um, or their blog page, however you want to say it, that uh, update 1.38 open beta is available yes um and it brings some pretty nice things uh, at least so far i'm pretty sure they'll release more things and as people discover them they'll release it um but of course we know that uh las vegas and uh, las vegas is getting a map revamp uh, obviously that was in another prime news episode i did and also um it is el centro uh, in arizona is also getting a massive a revamp apparently as well um and so there's a few screenshots on screen from that and of course we have the uh, truck stops that are being redone or at least a lot of them across the map just to make it more realistic but one of the main features and the kind of the feature part of this update is a new graphics technique uh, for and I'm going to read. I'm just quoting the what the blog says here. Uh, inclusion of a computer graphics technique for efficient, efficiently approximating ambient occlusion effects. I think occlusion, yeah, uh, <laughs> in real life. Uh, so it's also better known as in the short form of SSAO. So if if you don't know what that means, it basically means. It creates shadows in areas where uh, objects connect uh, to give it a more natural and believable look in terms of lighting and shadows. And so on screen right now, uh, of course, in the bottom right corner, you will see that there's, it will say uh, SSAO off and or active and, and deactive and stuff like that, just to give a comparison um, of some of the uh, benefits of it. Uh, there's also... Um, they are saying that there's right now kind of they're going to warn in open beta of course that some graphics are going to take a hit if your frame rates uh, because of this uh, if it's not a higher end gpu so i presume mine will take uh, tank a little bit um until i um do some settings with it uh, so i'll have to try that out but i'll get on to what i'm going to do with this update in a second um but i mean looking at the screenshots it is quite amazing actually just how detailed and more realistic it does look so there's there's been a couple examples with foliage and um then there's buildings and also some of the truck and chrome stuff as well um but another kind of aspect that i'm actually really excited for um is the colors now there's just one screenshot here but it you can actually save um color patterns it as presets um and so that's actually really exciting so you don't have to try and you have you can still of course keep the um the colors as the preset normally but you can keep complete color um designs and different uh, graphics all saved as one um which makes it really handy when creating um when you're doing a multi-color scheme you don't have to try and have them all lined up you can have multiple preset color patterns all uh set up a couple other features here um just you know revamp stuff like that and they're doing um they have more uh adobe eye tracking presets stuff like that Another thing I am really excited about, which is basically everything in this update, is what they have done with the map and GPS. Uh, they have now added an ETA to the next waypoint in the route advisor and in the uh, world map, which is very handy because that means I don't have to try and guess and try and figure out how long it's going to take from get to point A to point B um, when you're doing checkpoints when I'm doing like a long haul series, which I'm now going to bring back, at least in the future, um, because I can tell from in-game time how long it's going to take for me to get to certain waypoints and i know um how long it takes in real life uh to what it does in game to try and do those conversions so that makes it a lot easier and of course there's just basic sound updates and stuff like that um that will be noticed as well so overall very nice 
update and it's going to just bring some of those nice clean features and obviously there may be more you never know and so to answer the question am i going to be doing the beta right away no um <laughs> right now i normally like to give it a week or so um Obviously, I'm going to do the open beta, don't get me wrong. Um, but right now, because it has just released, um, I normally like to give it about a week to get those initial um, those initial things out of the way. And then I'll do some gameplay on it in my series. So that means that the ATS um, showcases where I'm doing some of the mods will have to probably wait um uh, or at least there'll be there'll probably be one or two more episodes and then it will have to be postponed um we're in doing mod reviews for a while until this uh, uh, mods kind of come around and get updated but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it so i hope you guys just enjoyed that little news saying um obviously if you want to check out the blog post it is down in the description below um there you can read um, everything because obviously um, they do go into quite some detail about it but uh, hopefully that just gives you an idea of what we are looking for so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one